Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So if you are listening to this video, guys, you are at the end of the prophetic word on It's Raining Bread. And this was a very long dream that I tried to condense that one of my close friends had given me. And I knew that it was not only just for our uh, consumption and interpretation, but many of you were going to have aspects of this dream that you can identify with. Um, and I said in each video, God led me to do it individually so it can be in bite-sized chunks. And the inspiration of the scripture, excuse me, the inspiration of the dream that God had given me was Exodus 16. And of course, if you've never heard of that, that's when manna rains down from heaven. Manna is bread. I'm not going to give it away if you didn't hear it, but if you listen to the last video, video four, it, it explains the climax of what happened in that dream. And I think it's going to help a whole bunch of people. You may just need that one, but I just wanted to pop in. I'm literally going to be on here no less than no more than five minutes. But God just wanted me to circle back and just to be of great encouragement, if I can be, to some of you who are listening. And I'm supposed to go back and reread the scripture. So this is not so much about you standing on the word of God and the dream, meaning the prophetic word from the prophetic dream that was given in the four videos before. I have to make sure I'm responsible in this space and I'm going to start doing things just a tad bit differently, not too much, but I want to do things like what I'm about to do, because I think it's important that we focus more on the word of God and not the prophetic word that people give us from God. Okay. Even the ones we get personally, like I'll just give you one tip on this one little extra and definitely check out the video I dropped tomorrow. And it's a sign that this person is the one. The tailor made is very specific. So I'm dropping a word about a mate, but I'll use an example for that. Okay. So when it comes down to it, we have to be careful that even if we get a name, a place, a specific opportunity that we always go back to the word of God. So let's say right now you are struggling greatly about a mate and you're, you, you're praying about a particular person or whatever. Sometimes you got to stop focusing on that prophetic word that someone gave you with their name in it and focus on Genesis 2.18. God does not want you to be alone. Focus on that. He's going to bring a suitable helper. Focus on that. Because what happens is it doesn't mean you're not thinking about that person, but it's letting God know that you are not idolizing that person and you are not idolizing that word, but you are focused on the word of God, which simply says it's going to be some suitable help. It's going to be your person. Y'all going to be click tight. It's going to be what it is. But that also lets you know, I have work to do because I need to make sure I'm a suitable helper. I don't need to be so obsessed with this particular particular person that I'm not working on myself to be a suitable helper. What a lot of people are missing right now is we want so badly to hear these words, but we do not do anything when God presents us with these words. So I just wanted to be responsible today and just do a quick recap of the scriptures that I gave you throughout this prophetic dream series. The first one, like I said, was Exodus 16. Please go read it in its entirety. It's about the manna and bread from heaven. The next one was Deuteronomy 111. In the second video, I talked about your ancestors and your bloodline blessings. That's me. The Lord, the God of your ancestors, increase you a thousand times and bless you as he has promised. Next was Ephesians 3.20. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, immeasurably more than all we can ever ask or imagine or think according to the power that work it within us. Remember, there's a power that working work it within you that you have to tap into. Okay? It's not just, oh, exceedingly abundantly. Yeah. The only way you're even going to get that is if you tap into your God power that's on the inside. That's why I'm giving you these scriptures so that you could have something to stand on. This is where your power is. I have to give you the, the, the cheat code so that you can get the actual blessings and you can see these things coming to pass because when they come, you are in position and you don't miss it because you're not focused on the, the miracle. Okay. You're not focusing on the mess. You're focusing on the, the miracle maker. And you're focusing on the message. You're, you're, you're editing 
your viewpoint in these spaces. So y'all, we're going to be a little bit longer than five minutes, maybe six or seven minutes. The next scripture is Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against you shall prevail or prosper. You will, excuse me, and you will refruit, er, refruit, hold on. Y'all, I went back to take that out. That was funny. I'm not taking that out. I say refruit. Anyway, refute, okay? And you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. Now, if you listen to uh, the video part three, this was the scripture, the undercurrent of the scripture, because I talk about crisis in that there's a part of the dream where there's a crisis or what appears to be a crisis. And the scripture reference I was supposed to say was Isaiah 54, 17. So if you go back and listen to it, remember that scripture as well. And then we rounded out the last part of the dream, which is part four. And it is Amos 9, 13. And it says, yes, indeed, it won't be long now. God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast. Your head will swim one thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up and everything will be happening at once. And everywhere you look, blessings. Blessings like wine pouring off the mountains and hills. And I'll make everything right again for my people, Israel. So with that being said, I want you guys to get filled up, stand on these words, pray about these scriptures, and ask the Lord for even more. What I what I often ask God is like, Lord, I want something that's not common. I don't want to keep repeating the same scriptures. Like all of these scriptures that I named, these are very common scriptures. But I had to be obedient because that's what it called for. But I like to do those deep dives and I like to get in there and see some stuff that people don't often talk about and they don't interpret it. So if you guys want me to actually do that more, please drop that in the comments. I am more than willing to do that so we can kind of learn new things together, different versions and all of that. Like I'm, I'm open to that. Right. But with that being said, remember something. Your bread, your manna from heaven, whatever you are experiencing right now, just remember that that heaven is always open. God is always open. And you know, you hear sometimes in different seasons about an open heaven where things fall down from heaven. I would like to think that many of you who are receiving this prophetic dream that you are walking into an open heaven. And I, I want to make sure I'm clear. I said, I would like to think that that's not the correct thing I should have said. I should have said, I feel in my spirit that it is an open heaven. Cause if I say, I think it's giving an indication that it's not prophetic. This particular sentence is prophetic. Those of you who have connected with that dream in some aspect, you are under an open heaven. I also believe that the open heaven signified is signified by the rain falling. And something that I want you to be very, very careful about. Be careful about the things dropping on you and hurt, being hurled at you that look like blessings. Some of, the, some of the insults being hurled, some of the difficulties being hurled and thrown at you, some of the things just coming at you out of nowhere, some of those things are literal miracles and blessings, but you can't see it. Okay, you're not going to be able to see it until you look it in the face and say, you know what, you're not gonna stop me. You're not going to stop me. And what you're thinking is, an, is a, a seed or what you're thinking is awful. It might just turn into a flower like you just never know. But my point is what, what you're thinking is nothing. It could actually turn out to be everything. So with that being said, I want you to be encouraged. I really appreciate you. And I thank you so much for listening. You don't have to. And I genuinely do appreciate that. Please, y'all, if you have any questions, make sure you let me know. Please like, subscribe share, turn on your notifications, y'all. They trying to shadow ban me, y'all. I, I know what's going on. I believe there was a season where God was shutting the mouths of certain people. And now I think we've transitioned into a season where the more people that are coming out of hiding, the more of us who are really trying to get out there and be in alignment with the things of God in this space, there's an attack on us. And I have experienced this before with my podcast. And I think I mentioned this to you guys maybe last week. I was hoarse for the first three months of my podcast and I kept going. The enemy wanted me to stop and I refused to. And one day I woke up and I wasn't hoarse anymore. It literally was for the, the point of me putting out that podcast. So with that being said, you guys be encouraged. I love y'all. I thank you so much for listening. Oh, and tomorrow is the last day of the pep talk prayer series that airs at one o'clock. And then I'm also dropping a word tomorrow about your mate, your person, about your person. So if you are praying about a mate, if you got friends, y'all send everybody over, especially if they're believers, men and women of God, because that's who it's geared toward this 
this this word that I'm dropping tomorrow is not going to affect nobody who's in the world. It's not. It's, it's not for them. It's for people who operate in faith and trust of the Lord and they are hearing God for their mate. This is who this word is for. Because people who don't operate in that space, they're not going to get it. It might be above them or they're not going to be able to relate. So, and not above them in a negative way, but it, it just may not be, uh, they may not have that wealth of knowledge just yet. Yeah. So that's that. Again, check the end of this video and you can link up and, and you can join all of my stuff that I have. I'm wired to inspire.com. I love y'all. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too.